Can you lose money in real estate? Yes, I'm gonna tell you the common mistakes people make when they're trying to flip a home and which factors they consider and which factors they don't, and that's fatal. In general, when you're going to get into an investment, you always want to buy low and sell high. And this is the first factor that people don't consider when they're entering into real estate. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what happens. Let me give you an example of someone that wants to flip the house and what they need to look for. The first question is, how much is the house? Second question is, how much is the closing cost, commissions, repairs, taxes, and insurance for this house? And then will the rent, you know, the market will be greater than my mortgage plus maintenance? And finally, will I make a profit selling it after I do closing cost, commissions, repair, taxes, and insurance, and my house has increased in price? In order to be successful, you have to have the right people working for you. The plumber, the roofer, someone that basically goes, can give you like, you know, an accurate assessment of, you know, the repairs that need to be done. Because without that, if you don't get the right estimation of cost, then basically you're going to lose money in real estate. Real estate can be very emotional, right? You see the house, you see the kitchen, you fall in love with, you know, the pool and all that. But actually, you should be thinking about, how oh, is the roof? Is this a flood zone? Uh, you know, will this be able to be a property that I can rent if I cannot pay the mortgage? So all of these factors, normally people don't want to look at them because no one wants to talk about money and it's hard to talk about money. The other common mistake is to have so many cosmetic repairs that basically will not increase the value of the house, but you know, whoever owns the house feel like, oh, this is going to you know, increase the value of the house. And that's not necessarily true because it's, that is a subjective factor. So that's also when people lose money because they put so much money into cosmetic repairs and they don't make uh, you know, rational decisions of what really can increase the value of the house, that then when they're trying to sell it, they have put so much more money than what they can really get home sex, uh, financial literacy, and you can understand risk management. And I promise you with that, you can actually decrease the odds of having risk. And we'll talk about this. Pretty soon, I'll do a podcast, like I said, of five minutes or less, basically doing a recap of chapter one and chapter two, and doing an example that we can see the rich dad perspective versus the poor dad perspective. Have a good night. So in order to invest in real estate, it's very important to understand repairs. It's very important that, you know, you understand how much are the closing costs, taxes that you get comfortable with, basically financial costs.